Hey again, thanks for coming along to my talk on hydrogen. I'm Scott Dixon, I'm a developer advocate here at Shopify, and today I'll be running you through high performance headless storefronts with hydrogen. We'll take a look at a primer on headless for those of you unfamiliar with the term. We'll look at the performance puzzle developers typically face when they build a headless storefront and how Hydrogen overcomes some of these challenges. Then we'll look at Hydrogen UI uh, for rapidly building custom storefronts and show off some of Hydrogen's flexibilities. Team at the back, can I get the uh, monitor updated? I think the, the notes are missing on both screens. Thank you. Got it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, wrap up with looking at the future of headless, what's next for hydrogen, and then finish off with a Q&A. So earlier this year, at Summer Editions, we launched Hydrogen for building high-performance headless storefronts. For those of you unfamiliar with headless, here's a quick recap. Traditionally, when you think about Shopify, you imagine Liquid and the online store, an integrated back-end and front-end which allows Shopify to inject a whole bunch of magic, and it allows merchants to make changes without really needing to know how to code. But there are some constraints that come with this approach. Some of our more technical merchants want more control over the end-to-end -end developer environment, and they require more implementation choice and flexibility when it comes to their tech stack. So to solve these limitations, there's another approach to building e-commerce dubbed headless. This is where you separate the presentation layer, which is anything the buyer interacts with, from the backend. Headless means taking an API-driven approach and combining it with the tools, technologies, and workflows that best suit your needs. With the headless approach, you get a deeper level of control, and you can do things like server render third-party CMS content and do server-level A-B testing and analytics. Uh, you can even do some really fun things like render, mul render multiple websites from a single code base. Shopify is built for headless. You can extend the back office with the admin API. You can extend backend logic with functions, extend the checkout with the new checkout extensions API. And in 2016, we rolled out the storefront API to extend the storefront. All of a sudden, merchants could bring their own stack, and we saw some really cool experiences. We saw custom React sites, we saw mobile apps, and even virtual reality games. Plenty of merchants are going headless. We see that the demand continues to grow because they get that developer experience and that flexibility. So while it unlocks all of these great features, you know, you can bring your own stack, you can take control of routes and handle third-party integrations, we noticed a bit of a problem. There was no great stack dedicated and optimized for Shopify. Developers typically had to choose between fresh or fast. In order to get fresh data, the server has to do work with each request, and this delay is passed on to the customer. In this example here, you can see in the first frame, the customer comes along, and they're greeted with a blank screen while the server fetches data. This can take a while if the data isn't cached, and if it is cached, it's probably stale. Then the HTML is rendered once, once the data comes through, and uh, it's shown on screen. But note that the, the page isn't interactive yet. The Buy button is still grayed out, because we still need to download the JavaScript bundle and hydrate the page. A common improvement to this is static site generation. So this is where you grab the data at build time, and deploy a static version of your site. So the customer comes along, the HTML is ready to go, and they see content first thing. So it feels a lot faster. Page still isn't interactive. The client bundle has to download in, in the background, and then the page finally becomes interactive. So this approach is super fast, but the data is often stale. The other issue here is it's impossible to grab personalized contextual data at build time you might want to show recommended products based on a customer's previous purchase history. That has to be done with a costly client-side fetch. 
So neither of these are great choices. Imagine a flash sale. You want that inventory count fast and you want it fresh. Another approach we, we often see is to have React sitting on top of the online store. So the customer comes along, the online store loads, and then their entire JavaScript application uh, downloads in the background, and they're shown some type of skeleton state while they fetch data on the client side. So the trade-off here is they download the entire bundle, fetching content is slow, and you're missing out on SEO. To add to this complexity, the storefront API was originally designed to be used on the client side, and it scales per IP. So using it on the server could lead to throttling. If you're fetching fresh data with each new visitor, it's only a matter of time until you're going to hit API limits. And on top of this, when a merchant would go headless, they'd give up Shopify's battle-tested infrastructure. They'd become responsible for uptime, scaling, and security. So you've got to worry about dynamic content, performance, and scaling. What's the alternative here? Well, recently, with advances in web technology, many of these performance puzzle pieces were solved, and everything kind of fell in line around the same time. Most notably, React 18 was released, which features streaming server-side rendering with progressive hydration. Streaming allows the server to fetch data in parallel and stream components as they're ready. And with progressive hydration, it's the concept of hydrating individual components as they're ready. So unlike traditional server-side rendering, you're no longer waiting for everything to load before anything is interactive. And this unlocks some great performance benefits. You get a blazing fast time to first byte and a tiny first input delay. To break your app up into streamable sections, you can wrap them in React Suspense component. Here, by wrapping SEO and homepage content in Suspense, we're telling React that it doesn't need to wait for these components before it starts streaming HTML for the rest of the page. Another recent advancement is edge computing. Services like Cloudflare Workers allow developers to deploy their code to the edge, close to users or customers, for incredible performance, reliability, and scale. We partnered with Cloudflare to power Oxygen, our hosting solution for hydrogen apps. So custom storefront developers no longer need to think about infrastructure. They can deploy their code to Oxygen and manage it from the Shopify admin. It's worth noting here that you're not locked into Oxygen. You can deploy hydrogen apps to any worker or Node.js runtime. So the storefront API, one of the most important improvements here. This API has been seeing a ton of investment, as I alluded to in the keynote. And this year, we're moving the entire API to the edge. 90% of the API is already there, and the remaining 10% will be done by the end of the year. Just from our initial testing, we're seeing three to four times faster server responses than when it was rendered by Shopify core. And we've introduced server tokens for server-to-server -server communication with the Storefront API. This one's really exciting because it's the first time headless storefronts can safely be server-side rendered, and it unlocks a whole amount of surface area. As well as these advancements, Hydrogen includes all of the performance basics too, like mechanisms for full page and sub-request caching. Consider an About Us page. You can cache the entire page. This is like statically generating the page. For pages made up of multiple sub-requests, like a product page, you can cache each individual section for a specific amount of time. The product details, they need to stay fresh, so you might cache those for a couple of minutes. The reviews don't change as often, so an hour might be suitable. Hydrogen provides sensible defaults out of the box, which includes a stale while we validate value to balance immediacy and freshness. Another important piece of performance is dealing with media. The Storefront API is backed by Imagery, our CDN for auto-optimizing media in real time. This reduces file sizes without affecting quality. It can automatically detect which file formats are supported by the client and send along the best option. For example, WebP with a JPEG fallback. It also allows you to crop and transform images on the fly. 
So we took all of these advancements, React 18 streaming, edge rendering, storefront API improvements, and we rolled them into hydrogen and oxygen. We combined them with smart caching strategies, preloading, and a media CDN, and we're seeing some incredible performance scores. It's faster than ever to render fresh, personalized, contextual experiences on the server. With hydrogen and oxygen, here's how a typical loading sequence might look. The app is edge rendered, there's a load time to first byte, and the HTML starts streaming immediately. Hydrogen's caching mechanisms kick in, and the data is fresh and ready to use. So the product details are available right away. With progressive hydration, we don't need to wait for everything else to load. So the buy button is prioritized, and that's the first thing to become interactive. The recommended products, they're unique to each customer, so the server fetches data from the storefront API, which is at the edge, and streams in the results. So you're getting fresh and fast. So Hydrogen runs fast, but it was also designed to build fast. Let's take a look at the components, tools, and resources that get you up and running quickly. Like the UI library for rapidly building custom storefronts with components that pair perfectly with our APIs. There are components for media, which are compatible with our CDN that support images, videos, and 3D models. Shopify Analytics, another pain point of custom storefronts that can now be solved with a single component. There are hooks for instant internationalization and shorter funnels with shop pay and buy now buttons. There's a CLI for scaffolding storefronts in JavaScript and TypeScript flavors. And this also warned you about potential performance issues. And a bunch of guides, examples, and templates that help you learn how to build performant hydrogen shops. A server rendered headless stack unlocks some pretty incredible flexibility. You can bring your own CMS. Our friends at Sanity and Contentful have already been working on hydrogen integrations. For hosting, deploy to Oxygen, Netlify and Dino for cell edge functions or Docker. And pick your own CSS library. Hydrogen works with Post CSS, Styles Components, and Tailwind, just to name a few. So where to from here? Moving forward, Hydrogen's focused on extensibility, storefront apps, and opening up brand new categories like experimentation and personalization platforms, as well as improved integrations with analytics and SEO services. And we're working on one-step integrations for plugins. We're also working on more tools, tools to improve the performance of third-party JavaScript, and to provide insights into how your site's performing and where's best to invest your time. Moving forward, we'll be splitting Hydrogen UI off as its own independent package. And this one's really exciting because it opens up to other frameworks like Remix and Next. I saw this morning, uh, the beta has just been released, so you can start playing with Hydrogen UI today. And as Liam mentioned, Shopify content is about to launch, which will let you create custom content that can be shared across sales channels. So for example, you could create product features, FAQs, or customer reviews. If you miss the QR code, you can scan this one or come and see me anytime and I can add you to the list. Hydrogen combines the power of edge workers and streaming server-side rendering alongside the storefront API, which is now at the edge. Together, these technologies are paving the way for globally performant commerce. If you haven't taken hydrogen for a spin yet, I hope this talk has encouraged you to do so. The quickest way to get started is to head to hydrogen.new. You can also join us for an introductory workshop this afternoon where we build a product page from scratch. And don't forget to join our Discord where the hydrogen engineers are actively engaging with the community. Thank you.